So, hi everyone, I'm here bringing you a list of visual novels. See if you can guess what these guys have in common. A Kiss for the Petals, Honey Pop, Re Lord One, Kindred Spirits on the Roof, Tropical Liquor, Mutiny, Roommates, Battle Girls, and Galaxy Girls. Are you stumped? The answer is that as of the time that I'm recording this, this is the list that I know of, of games that are being affected by the steam, sudden rush of enthusiasm for censorship. And I have a few tweets, tweet screenshots to share with you, if I can find them. Too much stuff. This is just saying that they were flagged as violating their terms of service re-adult content and that they want it to be fixed. Honey Pop saying that the store is, that it's going to be removed unless the game is updated to remove pornographic content. Honey Pop is popular. Relord One also needs to be censored by the end of the month. Tropical Liquor needs to be censored by the end of this month. Roommates has two weeks to fix pornographic images. And then this is a very interesting one. This is from Mutiny. And it says that their Steam publisher, Manga Gamer, met with Valve in person and were told that their content was okay. But suddenly it's not anymore. And I think that's the biggest problem right now is that they're not being consistent. And this is a very confusing time for a visual novel developer. Even if you don't have sexual content in your game, it's, it's just a plain fact of life that most visual maybe not most, but a very large portion of visual novels do have sexual content. And so anything that's going to be pulling visual novels off of a popular platform like Steam is going to be bad for visibility as a whole. So even if you are not directly affected by this, you are going to be indirectly affected. Sucks, doesn't it? So what can we do? Uh, well, the first thing I want to do is speculate a little bit about why is Valve doing this? And I say speculate because I really have no freaking clue. And neither does anyone else, as far as I can tell, besides Valve itself, because they're not sharing. They're not explaining. They're not giving guidelines for how to fix the pornographic content and what specifically needs to be removed and what specifically needs to be changed. And as far as I know, they are not giving guidelines like that. Perhaps they are working on it. But there are, as far as I can tell, two major possibilities here. One is Steam is taking it upon itself to police adult content more vigorously let's say. And if they're doing that, then the question is why are they not doing that across the board? Why specifically does it seem like they're going after visual novels with much more enthusiasm than they're going after other more popular game genres? And again, it's entirely possible that this is just the beginning and they are going to go after everybody with an even an even attack or a, I mean I really don't know so I'm not gonna just immediately point a finger at Steam and say hey you guys are jerks they might be but they might not the other possibility is that someone is putting pressure on Valve to remove this content and it might be someone with some political clout, or it might be a law, or it might be even something like uh, credit card companies, because 
sexual content or age content or whatever is considered a very high risk type of uh, purchase because the chargeback rates are, um, let's see, what was the number? Something like 10 times higher than other non-sexual content. So, I mean, this is a possibility. We don't know why Steam is doing this, and that is the major problem, is that we don't know what the real issue is. We don't know what the reason behind this is, and until we do, we are left with all this confusion and all this anger and frustration because what's happening right now does not make sense given what we know. So I guess the one solution is to wait for more information, but we can't guarantee that more information will come. And in the meantime, these games are going to be removed if nothing happens. And to some of you, that, that may not seem like such a horrible thing. Um, maybe you want visual novels to turn into a less erotic content uh, overall in trend or something like that. But like I said, anything that's damaging visual novels in general is going to be damaging all visual novels, not just those with H content. So we should be a little bit careful about this. And I think that we need to monitor the situation really carefully and even look into some alternatives. So speaking of alternatives, I have three to share with you today. The first one is fairly well known by developers, but not very well known by gamers. So that's why I thought I'd give it a shout out. It's called itch.io. It is its own platform. You can set your price and you can set how much you, how much of a cut the platform will take from your game when it's bought. So that's pretty sweet. Um, it's not specifically visual novel oriented, but it, it's more like an indie game sort of thing. So it has a broader view, but it's still pretty cool. I like it. I, I personally use it for the one and only thing I have released so far. Um, and then there are some other options of people who have specifically made invitations for others to compensate for Steam doing this. First one I'm going to mention is Jast. Jast just put out a tweet um, today with this picture saying basically, hey, you know what? You want to make sexual content? That is okay by us. You are welcome here. We are not going to block you. We are not going to make you censor. We are going to celebrate you for what you are. And this is their contact email. If you want to talk to them about getting on their store, which is by the way, I'm pretty sure DRM free. Second one, of course, is a little bit more well known. Yeah. It is Manga Gamer. They have, as part of a blog post where they were talking about how Kindred Spirits also got specifically vetted by Valve ahead of time for its content and therefore was supposed to be totally approved and not have any problems whatsoever. So the, this is, so as part of that blog post, they are inviting any developers and partners who would like to sell on their platform to get in touch at this, this email address right here. And they include store. They, they don't really seem to believe in censoring your stories with adult content, be it sexual, be it horror, be it whatever. If, if it, I think what their, uh, manifesto is basically is that if it adds to the story, it has a reason to be there. Now I can't really speak for them, but that's, that's basically what I've gotten from it. So anyway, that seems like a pretty cool option. Um, Really, above all, I would recommend having, if when you get to the point of actually selling 
your visual novel, I would recommend all of these platforms that I just mentioned. All of them. All at once. Unless someone is giving you a really, really good deal to stay exclusively with them, then you should be trying to spread your product onto as many platforms as you can so that you can get as many viewers as you can. So I just wanted to show some options for people because we don't know what's going to happen with Steam and Valve. Maybe they will. Maybe everything will be okay. I don't know. Maybe. It's possible. But if it's not, you have other options. Anyway, so I just wanted to record a little commentary and speculation about what's going on and what you can do about it. So thanks you guys for listening and I'll see you next time.